Hey guys, here we go into the third pendulum boxing drill. Um, and we're gonna be focused on, the first video was movement, the second video was straight punches, and this, this video is gonna be rounded punches, like uh, hooks. Uh, you can throw uppercuts like this too, but it's primarily for power. Um, and my boxing theory says that um, uppercuts are actually just um, set up punches. They wanna get you into a position on the line to throw another punch, uh, not to actually damage or hurt your opponent, even though you can. not especially if you practice these pendulum boxing drills and you can get the power that you want from them. So here we go, back on the line. And we're gonna be doing the same thing we were doing last time, here, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. But this time we're gonna be throwing hooks. So when we transfer our weight from the one side of our body to the other, throw that hook. And then we're gonna be going down this way, hook, hook, hook. Hook, and as soon as we catch our weight with our heel, we're just looking to throw that hook as we cross the line. Boom. This way, this way. And we're just gonna be throwing these punches and getting our head to the correct side of the line, getting our weight to the correct side of the line. And allowing the rhythm to stress our technique, okay? The idea behind these drills is to go fast and to throw the punches hard, okay? We have plenty of places in the gym where we practice aiming our punches and we practice hitting punches and hitting targets. We need a place to practice our shadow boxing, where we don't have to worry about all of those rules so that we can really maximize how much coordination and effort and strength and speed we get to practice with, okay? Again, it's not super important that everything we do here is so technical. It's only important that we're following the major rules of crossing the line, transferring our weight, and changing positions. Again, the the target is ancillary. And when we fight a real person, we'll be able to use the skills we gain here to more accurately leverage our weight into our opponent's face. So now we did the drill going one way. We're just gonna do it exactly the same way. Um, hook, hook, but going backwards. And again, we're always stepping on our heels, okay? And we wanna continue transferring our weight and even if you can't go that fast, don't worry about it. Just do the drill as best you can and allow the drill to do the work of making your technique better, of making your speed, making your, increasing your power, increasing your speed. <laughs> Let the drill do the work and then feel it when you shadow box and you practice normally. Feel it when you hit the heavy bag, feel it when you're on the speed bag, feel it when you're on the double in bag. And take the things that you learn from this pendulum boxing drill and apply them to all of those tools as well as your opponent.